The man accused of killing two Lodi teenagers made his first appearance in court today. The devastated parents in this case of one of the teens was also there. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has been covering this case from the beginning. He joins us now live in Stockton with the latest. Kurt. Well, Chris, this is another heartbreaking case, to say the least. We're talking about Randall Allenbaugh facing two counts of murder tonight as the devastated parents of one of the victims looked on. Do you understand the charges? Yes, sir. 29-year-old Randall Allenbaugh answering the judge as he heard his charges. Two felony counts of murder with special circumstances for multiple murders. Can you afford your own lawyer? Uh, I can't. Are you working? No, sir. I will put in. The public defender asked for no bail, but was denied. In the courtroom, the parents of 16-year-old Chimera Skaggs. Afterwards, her mother, who wouldn't give her name, too upset to say but a few words. It just hurts very badly. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> he had no right to hurt our children. They were good kids. The bodies of Skaggs, along with 17-year-old Skylar McConnell, were found along railroad tracks between Century and Salas Parks Tuesday morning. A memorial with candles, flowers, and balloons is set up at the front entrance of Salas Park. Joseph Toma didn't know the teens, but wanted to pay his respects. Me and my mom were just driving by, and we ended up placing a religious candle over, and um, kind of a tradition when somebody passes on. Chimera Skaggs attended St. Mary's High School and was part of the trap shooting team, while Skylar McConnell attended Lodi High School. Court documents allege the pair had been stabbed to death. A family friend told me the pair had been dating. The motive on this case, that's the big question. Still not known at this hour. Ellenbach expected to be back here in court in three weeks. We're live in Stockton. Chris, back to you. Mm -hmm. Kurt Rivera, we thank you for that update, sir.